everyone welcome back i hope you're having an amazing day and thank you so much for joining me so as you can probably tell i am really really excited for today's video because the other day i was just going through my makeup stash and i noticed a foundation that i had bought like way in the beginning of my channel in 2015 i still own it and it's been more than three years since i have that foundation and i just got this idea that i had never really shared with you my makeup collection now keep in mind i've been using and trying makeup way before before I started my channel so I do have a lot of makeup and periodically I do get rid of uh, you know small small things here and there and throwing out things that I don't really like but I haven't been getting rid of a lot of products I've been like hanging on to them it's really difficult for me to just throw my makeup away because it's really special to me and I've also given away a lot of my makeup to my friends and my sister I, I don't hoard everything but still I have a lot of makeup which no sane person should have the point of this video is actually to motivate you guys to raid your makeup stash and please get rid of makeup that's more than three years old and I will give you tips on getting rid of other kinds of um, you know makeup products while we go through my stash I hope it just motivates you to not hold on to makeup or anything that um, is sitting around for a very long time and you don't use it so yeah we'll have to move to the floor because if I sit here and show you my entire makeup collection we'll be sitting here for days so yeah let's get on the floor and let's get rid of my makeup collection <laughs> all right guys so this is my entire makeup collection i would say 95 percent of all of my makeup is in here and i also keep some lipsticks in like this lipstick display kind of container i really really like that so i have like this stand of five uh, plastic drawers and this is the lowest one i decided to keep my makeup in here and put it like right on the bottom because this thing is really heavy and this plastic isn't that great like i bought it for very very cheap from walmart so it's not the best quality but it works you know so i have these like one dollar bins or um, containers from Dollar Tree so they work really well and I, I kind of categorize my makeup in here my foundations are all in here I have like my glosses concealers um, smaller lipsticks this has to be organized this used to be very very well organized but it's all like all over the place right now honestly guys I had this organized really really well but yeah you know things just get messed up so this is my medium sized makeup collection and i thought if i make this video it gives me a good excuse to not only show you guys my medium sized makeup collection but also get rid of makeup that i'm not using anymore and that's really really old because I know how selfishly I've been holding on to them and it's not good it's just taking up more space that new makeup can so why not go ahead and do it right so yeah I'm gonna go through my entire makeup collection and we'll be cleaning out a lot of makeup that I've been holding on to so let's do it okay so I'm gonna start going bin by bin and I'm first starting off with this bin which was supposed to be for mascaras and I'm gonna get rid of all the mascaras that I have opened for more than three months you shouldn't be keeping mascaras for more than three months because uh, when you get mascara wands out and put it on your eye put them back in it takes in bacteria and puts it in the mascara tube and then they kind of grow and do all of their stuff so any mascara that you have lying around for more than three months get rid of it oh here's my remote things you find like in random places i was looking for this remote for the longest time and here it is so the things that I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna put it on this side of the bin and I'm gonna separate out the things that I will be keeping so I am keeping both of these mascaras this is my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes my L'Oreal Voluminous my L'Oreal Telescopic this is the Maybelline Brow Defined uh, Morphe Liquid Lipstick I have my uh, liquid lipstick from the Melted Matte Collection the Too Faced um, holiday collection keeping that I've had this NYX pigment for the longest time and I think I've only used this once mm, I think I will still keep it you know my wet and wild liquid liner uh, I haven't really run out of this and I haven't had this for the longest time so I am gonna keep this and my Pat McGrath um, lip glosses are also relatively new so this entire bin stays next is this gel cleaner and I think I've had this for about two years but I don't really use this so I'm gonna get rid of that this is my Mac fix plus I do use this a lot of times so I'm gonna keep that 
So this next bin, which was supposed to be for my concealers, also has a lot of random stuff in here. This is my Fenty Beauty concealer. So for now, I'm just putting stuff away um, that I'm gonna keep and that I'm getting rid of. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and organize this. Okay, so this is the Maybelline color corrector. Don't use this often, but it isn't too old. So I'm gonna keep this. Uh, this is the ColourPop. I don't like this as much, so I might get rid of that the color pop lipstick i did like so i'm gonna keep that this is my uh, makeup revolution concealer like that too i have a lot of these nyx vivid brights eyeliners and this is i think really new but i've never never really used this because although this looks like okay red when you put it on your eyes it's really bright yeah i do want to play more with these so i'm gonna keep this this is again my pat mcgrath lip gloss this is my Maybelline Curvature Liner and this is a backup of my uh, liquid liner because I do love this very very much and this is new so I have never opened this, never used this so I'm gonna keep that as well. This is the L'Oreal Silk Is Me Black Gel Eyeliner. This is kind of, yeah, this is really old I think because you, you can hardly get anything out so I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah, this is probably the Rimmel Exaggerize. I don't remember how long I've had this for but yeah, this is again got really dry so it's best to get rid of that as well then I have the Maybelline dream illuminator now um, I've had this for about a year and a half I guess this is staying and I do use this um, quite often so that's fine then we have the elf liquid liner I have used this a few times and I did not like it because it just wouldn't like it's not as juicy as I would have liked it to be so I guess we can get rid of that. This is the Huda Beauty lip liner. I like this. I'm gonna keep it because this is not too old. This is the, I guess this is by Maybelline. Yeah, it's by Maybelline. Again, I think I've had this for a year and a half and this is really nice and I do use this often. So I'm gonna keep this as well. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio. I This is really, really new. So I'm gonna keep that. Again, I have the Maybelline Curvature Liner. Like I said, I have backups of this because I absolutely love this eyeliner. So keeping that. This is the um, Revlon Colored Stay. I don't think I use this as much now. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's getting really dry, so I guess I'm gonna get rid of that. I have another Revlon pencil. Like, what's going on? Is that the same kind, though? The L'Oreal Voluminous um, Lash Paradise. This is the waterproof kind. I don't really like this as much because I'm not a fan of wearing waterproof mascaras because they're difficult to take off and my lash line gets irritated by that. But this is still new, not been three months, I think. So this is staying. I know this is also directly getting rid of that. This is the Rock and Glitz um, Eyeliner by JCAT. I didn't love this, but it's, it's a fun one. So I think I, I am gonna hold on to that. Th this is what happens, you know, I get really weak even though I want to get rid of a lot of stuff, I end up keeping them. Okay, I think we need to speed this up. This is new thing. This is the NYX Vivid Bright Lights, but I think this might have dried up by now. Oh, it hasn't. So this guy's saying I have a green one. I have like four colors and I think I should really like start playing with those before they dry up. Um, this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz Liquid Gel, whatever. I didn't love this, but I'm going to keep trying this. So this stays. I have the Tarte um, Eyeliner. Again, don't love this, but still staying because I want to try this more. Um, this is the Ulta Beauty Olive Eyeliner. I I think this is fairly new yeah it's still creamy so you get to stay this one probably is old oh it's not yeah this is staying as well um this is the nyx uh, liquid eyeliner this is probably old and i i don't want to keep this and i have used this a lot i've used this too much so you've like served your purpose so i can get rid of that this is the mark jacobs gel eyeliner this is extremely dark i don't even have space on my hand anymore but it's it's dried up this is amazing when it was new it's really really amazing it stays on your waterline forever but it's really hard to get it off so i don't use that a lot it's only on occasions where i know i'm gonna be out and about and i really need a good black gel eyeliner in my waterline that's when i use it this is the anastasia brow Wiz. i do have some of it left and i'm gonna use it up so you are staying okay so next i have this bin this is the wet n wild nail polish i got it from dollar tree i have honestly never used this so this probably got lost in this drawer somewhere so i've never used this so keeping that this is my tarte shape tape i'm almost out of this but i will 
um, finish using it and then get rid of it. Then I have the uh, JCAT Beauty Mattifying Face Primer. Don't use this as much. This is again a Dollar Tree fine. Uh, I did a video in December where I tried a bunch of Dollar Tree products. So I linked that above so you guys can go ahead and check that out if you haven't. I did not like this. This was supposed to be for my eyeliner, I guess, but I, I did not like this. This is the JCAT Beauty's Eyeshadow Primer. I did use this a couple of times. I did not like it. I actually like my Ma Milani uh, eyeshadow shadow base better but just to like try it out once more i'm gonna keep this and of course i'm gonna hold on to my milani eyeshadow primer as well then i have the maybelline eye studio gel eyeliner this is fairly new i have the uh, jcat lengthening mascara absolutely hated that and it's been more than three months that i used this so this is going away this is the salon perfect nail polish i do like this this doesn't stay on my nails forever it does start chipping but i got this from dollar tree so what the hell this is staying uh, then I have this L'Oreal uh, mascara which which has the bendable wand it hasn't been more than three months since I got this so I should probably try and use this up quickly this is the LA colors lipstick I do like the shade but this is not something that I would wear on a regular basis so I'm gonna say goodbye to that and lastly I have this LA color auto liner which I know I don't like so bye bye and lastly this is the beauty blender cleaning solid um, I got this as a sample in one of my Sephora purchases and this is as you can see brand new so this is also staying um these are my kiss lashes i this is in the style shingon i've only used the first two in this packet so this is also staying then i have two of these face masks i just put my face mask in here so that i remember to use it so these are not used so obviously staying okay let's start with these color pop eyeshadow pots and now right off the bat i know the ones in white are the ones that i bought more than three years ago so i know i really have to get rid of those yeah all of these all of these are actually going because it's been more than three years and there's no reason i should hold on to them then i have this foera one so i bought this from wish.com and i really enjoy using that so this one's staying this also is from foera this is like a coppery burnt orangish eyeshadow so this is staying then the rest of these oh this one is a becca highlighter in the shade the opal flashes jade this is an interesting highlighter because it has like this iridescent quality to it it's like a greenish pinkish um, highlighter now this is not too old and I do like it and I paid a lot of money for this so this is staying so all of these are from my Disney designer collection and I did like almost all of these and I feel like I did give them away to my sister or someone I can't remember but I'm pretty sure I did so these guys are staying with me then this is again like I said I like to hold on to packages there's nothing in here <laughs> okay this is my loose maybelline fit me loose powder staying not too old um this is the jurgens natural glow moisturizer i do use this on and off i only have a little bit of this left so i guess this can stay and i will use this up this is the dermacol makeup cover this is like one of those full coverage foundations but i haven't used this in a very long time and this color doesn't even look good on me like like it's too light for me so i think i'm gonna get rid of that this is the jcat beauty waterproof makeup remover um i haven't used this a lot again so this is staying then i have my cerave eye repair cream staying i use that on an everyday basis it doesn't live in this drawer but because i just shot a video using that product it is in here then i have the covergirl powder honestly this color isn't a good match for me so that's why i don't use it it's too dark and i think uh, it's been almost three years since i have this so i have this sassy chic i think i got this from dollar tree so i can leave that out i have the laura geller baked balance and brighten color correcting foundation i have used the heck out of this product i have used this and i feel good about letting this one go then i have the tarte highlighter um i really like this and this is fairly new got this during the holidays this year so this is stay i oh this rimmel natural bronzer this one is old and this one i have used a lot so i have the nars laguna and uh, orgasm blush bronzer duo i do like to use this on and off um haven't used this in a long time so i probably should get to that but this is staying this is the la colors loose uh, again from dollar tree getting rid of that this is an elf baked highlighter i got this because i thought it would really compare well to my becca highlighter but this is just so like you can hardly see anything on here so this one's a fail 
and it's going away i really really like this matte blush i got from wish.com and it's a really pretty color i did do like an entire review of all the products that i got from wish so go check that one out this master highlight by face studio i think is again one of those products that i got long long time ago so i feel good about letting this one go um my wet and wild pearlescent pink oh my god this is one of the like og products that i bought when i started off my channel because this was one of those cheap products that i was in college i didn't have a lot of money and i wanted to do makeup reviews and makeup looks and all of that so i went to walmart and i got one of the cheapest blushes that they had this is one of them i have used this a lot so goodbye old friend this is the nyx color correcting thing i don't really use this and i have used this a couple of times i did not like it because i felt like it was too oily so that one's going away um i again this is like a setting powder i have multiple setting powders so i don't need this one i have the cori airspun um loose powder i do like to use this so this is staying um i have the makeup revolution banana baking powder i also like this if i'm not using my maybelline loose powder or my airspun so this is also staying um this is the h2o uh fresh dewy face primer by jcat i did not like this Whew, we have a lot to do this elf face palette i got from old navy i don't like this as much i have used this once so i do want to give this another chance okay so now we have the l'oreal true match lumi foundation now this is the thing i don't remember when i bought this but it's probably been more than two years and this is what i want to start doing i want to start labeling my makeup products and put the date that i bought it so that i know where i bought it and then when it's past its expiry or whatever because i don't remember when i got this but i don't even use it as much then i have the oh god this is again one of my first ever purchases for my youtube videos this guy has definitely been with me for more than three years so time to say goodbye um this is the laura mercier flawless fusion foundation it's been with me for about a year so this is not going anywhere as of now this is again the concealer for the l'oreal flawless fusion this is the uh makeup revolution conceal and define but i got this because i wanted to use a darker color like a liquid um contouring product i used this once and it did not work out but i do want to give this another chance so this guy's staying then i have the jcat beauty oh wow i have the jcat beauty foundation now this is all sealed up because i took it to india because i wanted to give it to my sister and i had two of these but now that i look at it it's all like watered inside and it's time for this to like go then i have the most talked about product on my channel i think it's the kat von d lock it foundation kat von d's lock it foundation can't remember exactly but i think it's been two years i think i'll still keep this then i have the makeup revolution rose gold liquid highlighter this is also fairly new and i do like to use this on and off here and there so that's staying this is the color pop foundation i use that as well now this is the elf hydrating primer um, my makeup slips and slides when i use this so time to say goodbye to that wow we are getting rid of a shit ton of things guys proud of myself then i have the fenty beauty matchstick in the shade truffle absolutely love this for contouring then i have the tarte rainforest of the sea liquid highlighter drops that's staying i have my absolute favorite foundation in the higher range it's the estee lauder double wear foundation this is really beautiful guys if you haven't tried this foundation before if you have the money to try this amazing foundation i would highly suggest you go ahead and buy it i have my milani conceal and perfect not ready to get rid of this product um and this is the sephora blush cleaning um spray uh, i mentioned this in my five awesome non-makeup products so again link is above if you want to check it out Whew. now it's time to move on to my palette section and as you can see i have a lot of these in here but i do have a lot that's been here for more than two and a half three years so it'll be it'll be easy to get rid of these before we get onto the palettes i have my three-in-one hangover spray this was again part of the Too faced holiday collection this is my maybelline master contour been with me for a year and a half that's staying my colourpop villains highlighter um you guys know i did not enjoy it as much but i still want to give this guy one more chance to prove its worth so you're staying my friend then i have the milani highlighter set i don't really use this a lot a lot this is again one of those really rarely used kind of um highlighters but i do want to use these because they make great like single shadow looks 
so these guys are staying i have the milani eyeshadow palette this is in the shade must have metallics palette do enjoy this a lot yeah this one's staying rainbow eyes um again this is very very new staying with me so when i started my youtube channel i went for the cheapest makeup products at walmart and i think maybelline was the brand uh, other than elf <laughs> which had the cheapest makeup products and i bought this blush nudes palette and my very first makeup look in fact my very first video i was wearing this palette evidently this has been here for more than three years it's been loved a lot and um, i've enjoyed using this so thank you old friend thank you for helping me start my youtube channel thank you then i have the 24k nudes palette this is again relatively new so this is staying i love my makeup revolution blush highlighter palette but this again doesn't get used that often and i really really love using my other blush palette which is from jcat beauty you guys know i absolutely love using this blush me cheeky palette so i guess it's time to say goodbye to the makeup revolution palette then i have the disney designer collection palette it's a princess thing you guys know love this a lot and i recently did a review of the disney villains collection both of those are staying then i have the wet and wild contouring duo um you know this guy has been loved and used so so much so this guy is staying these are a few like dollar tree products honestly i haven't used this one ever i don't know the quality of this so i guess i'm gonna give this one chance and try to you know use this up these are also comparatively new uh, absolutely enjoyed using this highlighter it was bomb the the intensity on this highlighter was amazing and this is their bronzer now I, i've never been a fan of bronzers that have glitter or shimmer mixed with it i guess i'm gonna pass on this guy this one was a major dud so getting rid of that this palette is from wish and i think this is the concealer color correcting set it didn't sit well on my skin and i'm glad i didn't spend a lot of money so so it's fine if I say goodbye. And this is my Makeup Revolution, the Emily Edit Palette. Absolutely love using this palette. Emily did such an amazing job. I have a whole video raving about uh, the needs and the wants palette. So these guys are definitely staying. And then I have the Beauty Cure Palette by Jeffree Star. I have used this, but I think the price point on these palettes aren't really justified. Um, so I've never really bought any Jeffree Star product after my first ever purchase that was my first and last purchase but it's not been three years so i'm gonna keep this and try to use this a little more before it expires and this is an old Ulta beauty blender that needs to be washed all right so these cords right here i want to say they are more than three years old because i got them from dollar tree in 2016 when i shot my first ever um dollar tree makeup product review so i know these are old all right this is my carly bible palette this again has been with me for more than three years bought it in 2015 did one of my very very first videos with this i have used it a lot so it's time to say goodbye <laughs> then i have my amazing huda beauty palette i think i've had this for two years i do use this a lot so this guy's staying it hasn't hit the three year mark yet so i guess it's safe to keep it with me this is the jcat beauty like mini palette or something i haven't had a chance to use this so this guy's staying the la color trios i think i've had for about two years but i don't really use these and i have similar shades in other palettes so i think i'll get rid of these this is the uh lacme nine to five i think i got this on my very first trip to india oh and it has expired it says used before july 2018 so no point keeping that guy with me then i have this smashbox cute little duo i do like to use this really fun color so keeping that then i have the l'oreal true match this one is one of those products that i don't like to use the colors off and because i bought it from walmart i couldn't return it so this guy has to go i am keeping the laura mercier loose powder because i love using that and i'm getting rid of the clinique loose powder i think i got this for free from somewhere and this is the laura mercier powder puff need to wash that as well Whew, last bin guys I hope you guys are staying around for this one. Next, we have the Violet Wasp Pro Eyeshadows. I absolutely love this palette. I've used this so many times. I got this last year for Valentine's. Absolutely love this. Keeping that, I have my Too Faced Dream Queen palette, which was part of the Christmas um, collection. Also love using this. Keeping that as well. My Emily Edit The Wands palette. <laughs> Do I even need to tell you guys how much I love this? No reason necessary keeping this with me 
And lastly, we have the Morphe 35M palette. I do like to use this. I haven't used this like an awful lot. I'm gonna keep this because it's very, very new. I think I bought this around October when the new Ulta near me opened up. We did good, right? Um, the last thing that I have here is my, uh, are all of my lipsticks. Okay, the first things are these Maybelline Color Jolt. I have used this a lot. Again, one of those products that I bought like way in the beginning. This is a Marc Jacobs lipstick. I have I haven't used this an awful lot, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Then I have the Makeup Forever. So all these tiny lipsticks I actually got as a part of the Sephora Playbox. I used to subscribe to that, but I got bored of it. So this is a pretty shade, so I'm gonna hold on to that. I'm gonna keep this in here. Then I have the Cinnamon Crush, Cinnamon, yeah, Cinnamon Crush lipstick from Flower Beauty. I am actually wearing this one today. I rediscovered this lipstick. So this one's staying. I'm gonna keep this right here. Then I have another mini lipstick, and this one is from Sephora. Don't like to use this. I have two Jeffree Star lipsticks. When I saw this on the website i thought these are going to be different colors but they turned out to be like these bright pink colors and this one's too pale on my skin so waste of money right there i have a uh, wet and wild mega last cat suit liquid lipstick i i've used this um i've used this a few times so i'm gonna hold on to that i have a sangria lipstick from milani these lipsticks have amazing scent so hold on to that this lipstick is really really old i think this is from 2015 I bought this from Ulta, but I did not really like the shade. This is my first ever MAC lipstick. This is so light, but I do like to top this on like darker lipstick, so I'm gonna hold on to that. This is my Bare Minerals OMG lipstick. Again, a rediscovered product, so keeping that as well. This is a flower lipstick that I got from Wish. You know, honestly, I've never used this except that particular video, so I guess I'm gonna say goodbye to that um this is again from wish i didn't really love this when i did that video either this i got actually from the face shop this shade is like a rusty red i don't know how i feel about that so i'm gonna hold on to that because it's not that old but um it's like out of my comfort zone so i haven't really used that this is again from the sephora play collection it's the urban decay high fi shine ultra cushion lip gloss have used this a couple of times i think it's you know, solid its purpose. And lastly, we have the Wet n Wild lipstick. I, I don't enjoy this, um, and I already have another like rusty red lipstick. Don't think I have space for this in my life right now. All right, so these are all the makeup products that I'm getting rid of. And I just finished organizing my drawer, and you know what? I'm actually left with one empty tray, which is so awesome, right? Um, so here I have all my bigger palettes. In here, I have all of my eye stuff, um, like my concealers, color correctors. In this tray, I have my lipsticks, lip glosses, lip liner. Moving on here, I have my two face masks. I have my extra lashes. I have my Fix Plus, all my sprays, and my loose setting powders. And then here, I have my two um, nail polishes and basically all the liquid products, so my foundations, liquid highlighters, um, my brush cleaner, oops, spray. And in the back here, I have all of my ColourPop eyeshadow pots and things that are like rounded in shape, which I couldn't fit elsewhere. So I have tons of space left here. So at least we cleared up a lot of old stuff and we made space for new things in our lives. So that's it guys, we did it. I am so proud of myself, even though I did have a few weak moments and I did want to hold on to few of my makeup products. I am so proud that I stood strong and I did get rid of a lot of makeup products. So I hope this video motivates you to take a look at your own makeup collection and get rid of things that are probably expired or no longer serve the same purpose to you and no longer bring that same joy that they once did. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and while you're there, do hit the notification bell. And on that note, like I always say, take good care of yourselves and I shall see you in my next one. Bye.